in this video I am going to cover the equivalent block diagram from the actual block diagram so when you are finding out the equivalent block diagram it is just going to decrease the amount of blocks which is present at the actual block diagram so at first case let us have the actual block diagram let's assume we have the input and this summing point is having another input as x and this is provided to the block g and the output is going to be equals to c and this c is going to be equals to g multiplying with this r plus or minus x this is multiplied because it is in cascade representation if these two are in cascade then both of them are going to be multiplying and we can actually convert this into some simpler blocks so that this can be represented in another form of block diagrams if suppose we we need to shift this summing point to the output of this block that is c and we can actually do that we know that c is going to be equals to r plus or minus this x and before that uh, let us bring this g at the beginning and take in the summing point at the output of this g we are going to have this plus or minus g and this c is going to be equals to this r g plus or minus x g or equals to g multiplying with this r plus or minus this x right here at this output we are going to get r g so this first term exists and now we need to find out or we are going, we are going to have this plus or minus x g so again right here we need to provide this g at this place and so right here we need to get x g so that the output is going to be equals to r g plus or minus x g since we have this g which is having the input as x so that we are going to get the output as this x g so this is how we can actually convert or we can actually shift this uh, summing point at the beginning or from this beginning to this output of this block that is C and come into the another equivalent or another block diagram that is we have this R given to the summing point towards this plus and another input for this summing point having the sign as plus or minus and this is going to have the input as x and the output of the summing point is equals to c and we have this take up point as c and for this case i'm going to shift this take up point at the before the summing point exists in other words this r is going to be present or it is connected to this take up point at first let us do this bring this take up point at the beginning and after that providing this summing point at this position and the output is going to be equals to c and we know this c is going to be equals to r plus or minus this x so this is going to be equals to r plus or minus x and when you take this c right here 
this c is going to be r c equals to x plus or minus this x. So when you provide x right here, we are going to get c equals to r plus r plus or minus x and there must be another c which is going to say that this is also equals to r so for this we need to have another summing point and right here which has two inputs that is one is r another is plus or minus this x and the output is going to be equals to c now for this case this c is going to be equals to this r plus or minus this x so this is how we can actually get uh, this value for both this case c is going to be equals to r plus or minus x but when you shift this takeoff point from this position to this beginning so at first i have drawn this thing because this is the important uh, connection which is going to be shifting this takeoff point at the beginning and after that by using this expression we need to do certain connection from this input that is another input from this x so that the output is going to be equals to r plus or minus x so this is the second block diagram when you take this take up point at the beginning of this summing point now coming to another block diagram let's assume we have the input as r and given to the summing point which is having two inputs this is for x input and the output is going to be c right here this is the takeoff point which is going to provide the value as r and our intention is to bring this takeoff point at the output of this summing point so at first let us draw this and so because of that th we have this summing point at this beginning and after that we are going to have this takeoff point and the output is going to be equals to c and you can observe here first of all i have drawn the shift of this takeoff point and after that we are going to decide what is going to be its connection so that this c is going to be equals to this r plus or minus this x minus x and this output is going to be equals to this r since this is c equals to r plus or minus x so right here we need to have as input as x so because of that even here we are going to get r plus or minus this x but our intention is that we need to get some another output as only r so since we have this we need to subtract this x so let's bring this summing point right here and at the beginning If this is plus, we need to subtract with with respect to this x. And if this is minus, we need to provide the value as plus. So right here, we need to provide this x as the input for this summing point. And when this happens, this output is going to be so. This is the positive so this we are going to get r plus or minus x and another input is going to be minus plus of this x is going to be equals to this r so finally we are going to get 
the output as R. So this is how we can actually get the resultant or we say this as equivalent or equivalent block diagram and this is the actual block diagram so the procedure of finding out the equivalent block diagram is that first of all draw this section where we are going to take off this point from here to here and after that try to get the output as rx of r plus or minus x you can observe here i have provided input as x so that this output is this r plus or minus x and after that we need to get this type of output or the same output for this equivalent block diagram and you can observe here since this input is r plus or minus x but our intention is to find only the value of r so i have used this property of this summing point it is just going to add to some another input so because of that i have subtracted at the beginning if this is plus i i have provided this as the minus so this x is going to cancel out and when this this x is having the sign as negative i have provided here the positive so again for second case this is going to be cancelled out and finally we are going to get the output as only r so this is how we can actually find out the equal block diagram representation and set in procedure to find out its equivalent